Okay, good, good evening everybody. Um, I know you've had a long day today. Uh, welcome to our port of field. Um, we're just going to breeze through the, the items today because I know you're tired and maybe a weekend start. <coughs> so the background on the really redevelopment of Port Portadu. The, the background on the yearly port redevelopment plan. <coughs> uh, it's a bilateral co cooperation with USA and uh, the Timorese government. Um, this this redevelopment plan was uh, <coughs> approved by the Council of Ministers in the 2021. Um, it's a uh, TTP between the uh, Timorese government and hopefully the uh, project investor. Mm -hmm. the, um, the impact of this early redevelopment uh, project will be more tourist um, recovery of the economic economy <coughs> after battle. Um, also Uh, this development of the economic recovery from COVID. Um, more tourists come to Guinea. Um, also, maritime connectivity between Indonesia, uh, Timor Leste, and Darwin. from this graph, in 2016, we had 2,000 visitors. This was from uh, cruise ships. In 2017, it went up to 3,400 visitors. 2018, it went up a little bit more. 
2019, it went up uh, significantly. So this, this proves that we need this, this redevelopment and this potential in this redevelopment to accept uh, passengers from foreign countries, passengers um, <coughs> So this, this shows the need just before COVID. When COVID came, we stopped taking those vessels. But this, this shows, this graph shows that we need it. We need enough potential to be, to be there. This development model will be our EPD. And we have, we have, um, Thank you for the opportunity and my respects to all of the distinguished guests from the ASEAN delegation. So just want to uh, explain a little bit. I think this is the typical um, PPP structure for projects, including for Tibar Day 4. Uh, the first one we saw on top is the government of Timor-Leste acting as the grantor, including as